welcome to Knitting Books Etc. My name is Cristina and I'm here to talk about the books I'm going to read in May. So I um, have already talked about the books I am uh, reading. So one of them is this one who I started in February and I still am reading it more or less half a bit so this is one i want to i don't i'm not going to say that i'm going to finish it but i would very much like to finish it this month the other one i talked about is war and peace which uh, of which i read more or less half of it so uh, this book is divided in four books and an epilogue so five books and I read the first two books, but they were the second book was quite big, so uh, this is where I'm at. So the other book I'm already reading is this one here, Purgatory, which is part of a read-along organized by Jennifer Brooks from the channel Jennifer Brooks. And um, it's going along very well. So... The other books I am going to read, I'm going to finish a book which is also part of a knit along. <laughs> I am insisting on knit along. It's part of a read along. And uh, so in the read along, we are reading all the Bastashir uh, Chronicles, or the Chronicles of Bastashir, I think by Anthony Trollope. There are six books. This is the third book. I already started because uh, the plan or the timeline <coughs> of the, the read-along uh, it, it was April and May so I have to end this book now in May and this one <coughs> the third one of the trilogy, which is called, it has a very, uh, the, that hideous strength. So uh, I find it a very, I don't know, I don't like the, the name uh, of the book. Anyhow, so this one here. And then part of my participation in the Bronte project, where we are reading organized by Melissa from the bookish something. I, I will link down below. I don't remember the name of her channel. Uh, but uh, we are reading all the novels by the Bronte sisters. And this month it's going to be The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. So we already read uh, Villette. The Professor, Agnes Grey, and now this one here. And finally, the other book I'm participating in a buddy read, if you want, is uh, As Are You Dying, which is buddy read organized by Scott and Becky Bryant with the participation of other uh, people. And I, so, As Are You Dying by William Faulkner. I haven't read anything by this author, I don't think, so I am, um, this is a new thing for me. Finally, I am continuing with the read-along of the George Eliot works. So we read Adam Bede in April and in May we are going to read Silas Marner. This is a read-along, Elliot 2021, organized by Kim from the middle of the book March. So what this means is that I am leaving behind some of the books I had said I was going to read in May. Because I actually counted the pages of each of these books I have here. And 
and uh, the total is very high indeed. So, um, if you want to know War and Peace, I'm, I am planning to just read one, one book, so instead of the two books, so planning to read one book and it's 331 pages. Salas Marner, 332, The Tenant of Wildfell Hall, 522, uh, as I Lay Dying, 147, Purgatory, 205, but half of these pages are uh, the Italian version, so, but still, it's poetry, it takes time, so I'm counting the whole book. Dr. Thorne, 466, uh, the, this, so that hideous strength, 370, and our mutual friend 647. So, what am I leaving behind? I was going to participate in the reading of uh, Three Girls in Brooklyn. I even bought the ebook for this novel. And uh, part of the Kate Howe Patrons group, the book. Uh, that we were supposed to discuss at the end of this month is the romance of a shop. I don't know if I have the time to read this book. So there are possibilities, but I don't know. I don't see if I have the time to read them. The other two books I had put in my list were part of the Maybe Midrash which, in which we are supposed to read one, uh, one non-fiction and one fiction book uh, related somehow to spirituality, religion and so on. And I had chosen, uh, because there were books I have, uh, for the fictional book I had chosen The Screwtape Letters by C.S. Lewis. And for the non-fiction book, I had chosen Orthodoxy by G.K. Chesterton. Again, I really want to read these books, but I don't know if I have the time. So, because um, the C.S. Lewis Cosmic Trilogy or Space Trilogy is a fictional book, but it's full, packed full with theology and considerations related to religion and so on. Uh, uh, I think that it counts for the Midrash. Um, but, and I am going to try, but again, I don't know if I can. So that's why I said that I was going to make a list of the books I'm not reading. And so I may not read these four books I mentioned. Uh, I don't know if there's... Ah! Dead Souls, yes. There's a, uh, also a read-along organized by the Codex Cantina and Christy Lewis, I think. And they are going to read the Dead Souls by Nikolai Gogol. But I, I would like to read it. But I don't know that I can. So, if at the end of the... After I read all these books I mentioned, I have the time, then I will pick it up. Uh, there's something else which I cannot remember, but so there are at least five books I'm not going to read, or maybe I am. Okay, so before I finish this video, I also going to show you uh, very quickly uh, some books that I bought. One of them, I already showed it, it I didn't buy it, it was given to me and I read it, Brother Cutfell. Then, um, this one here, I know that I bought it because uh, Steve Donahue talked about it in his channel. He ha must have said something that arose my interest. I ordered it and it took so long to arrive that I had already forgotten. And then when it arrived, I said, oh, wh why did I buy this? But the subject is something that interests me. Literary critics, a kind of a history of 
literary criticism. Um, and I am actually looking forward to read it. Then I, I bought, uh, there are, I want to read uh, some, I don't know when, but this year, uh, some Virginia Woolf. So I read at university, which is, when I say at university, I have already forgotten almost everything because it's 40 years past. So I read uh, To the Lighthouse, but I never read anything else. And I would like to read Mrs. Dalloway. So this is a book I bought. Uh, also, uh, many years ago, I, I, I was, when I was in London studying, I attended a, a talk by Anthony Burgess where he mentioned several things and also it, I think it was when he published his second, the second volume of his autobiography and I remember reading a bit about uh, of the biography and enjoying it very much. And so I decided uh, those books I read, they were not mine, but uh, I would like to read his biography or autobiography. So it's in two volumes and the first one is Little Bi Wilson and Big God. And so I have it here. Uh, I am looking forward to, to a, buy the other one to the second one. And also, uh, recently I decided to invest a bit in short stories. So I have already shown here the book uh, Todos os Contos by Clarice Lispector, which is the compilation of her short stories. I also uh, bought the short story, complete short stories of uh, Borges and Flannery O'Connor and selected stories of Ray Bradbury. I showed all those books here and now I am starting the collection of Somerset Mom short stories. So this is volume one of four. So there you have it. And finally, on the World Book Day, I went to my, to the bookshop next to my home and uh, because it was World Book Day and I found a book there which many, I've heard several people talk about it and I remember that when they talked about it I, uh, I, I thought that it must be an interesting book so um, I got it and it's the I have I have no idea what it is about no idea but I remember that something that they told about it when they reviewed the book it attracted me and so here it is Matt Hay the Midnight Library so I don't know when I'm I'll be able to read um, these books but I will I will read them until then and until next time, bye.